Maybe you are an Android user but you like the iOS look and feel, then this video is for you. Hey what's up guys, my name is Adeep and today I will show you how to make your Android look exactly like iOS 10. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Alright guys, to make your Android look like iOS, you guys will need 6 apps. The apps are Control Center, Emoji Keyboard 7, Geek Camera, iLauncher, iLock and iNot. iLauncher and iNot is not available on the Play Store, but all the apps will be linked down below. So just down, install iLauncher and iNot from outside, link from the link in the description and install the others from the play store link will be in the description down below after that go to your settings go to home and set eye launcher now tap on your home button it will launch the eye launcher now as you guys can see this launcher looks so very familiar to iOS you can uh, you even can create folders you get fully similar animations to the iOS if you want the iOS uh, 10 wallpaper then you can download the wallpaper from Google and as you guys can see this launcher looks very very familiar to iOS which is very good if you want you can even install apps from the launcher like you can do on the iOS after that go to preferences to panelize the uh, I launcher from here you can do a lot of things if you have a bigger phone you can enable fifth row if you have a lower phone you can enable low quality animation and others after that we will set up the inot just go to inot and enable that you can even uh, give a custom carrier name here if you want and custom carrier names looks very good in my opinion as you guys can see this is how this uh, iNot looks like you also get a notification panel this looks very familiar to iOS to get the notifications just turn it on and give it accessibility permissions now you guys will get all your notifications in the iNot as you guys can see it looks very familiar to us and it also gives that blur effect which looks very good after that just go ahead and set up the control center as you guys can see this gives three dots on your screen just tap on them and swipe up then you will get your uh, control center you can enable Wi-Fi or disable that and you can get a lot of toggles and these are actually working you also get a music uh, control on the uh, right side if you want to use that now let's talk about the launcher if you want to set the uh, set a third party app as iOS app just tap on the app and tap on set as like I am setting this app as uh, iTunes you can even change icon or title if you want so I'm renaming it as iTunes as you guys can see this is how you can set a third-party app as a iOS system app and the camera app we are using is Geek Camera just change its title to camera not Geek Camera that's it now this camera looks very familiar to iOS as you guys can see uh, this is the best uh, camera that looks very familiar to iOS that I have found ever after that just set up the eye lock this is the best uh, lock screen which looks very familiar to iOS we will take a look at that in a second just enable that then it will show you notification access enable that also and after that you are good to go you can swipe from the bottom to get your control panel you can swipe from up to get your notifications you can swipe to the right side to get uh, your camera you can swipe to the left side 
to go to the password menu here you can give your password and unlock your phone now the only downside of this lock screen is that when you unlock your phone it takes you to your default camera app so if this bothers you a lot then try another lock screen from the google play store now set up the keyboard it's very easy to set up the keyboard first of all you will need to launch the application now tap on activate me now complete everything and your keyboard will be set it now go to local and tap on white flat theme that's it let me show you how the keyboard looks like as you guys can see this is a very familiar keyboard to the ios you even get the ios emojis which looks very good yeah that's basically how you can make your android look like ios let me show you the camera also so this is the best camera that looks very familiar to ios as you can see you get video photo as well as a square you get filters also the filters looks very familiar to ios filters and this is very good camera and if you want you can use this as your main camera app and i liked this camera app a lot now let me show you how my phone looks like right now so as you guys can see my phone looks just exactly like the ios right now as you guys can see so that's it for this video if you are not yet subscribed to my youtube channel then you, you can hit that subscribe button so make sure you give this video a thumbs up drop a valuable comment and share this video to your social media and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video it's me adip signing off